To me, revival at the Capitol means people hearing God's truth and responding. For those who don't know Christ as their Savior, that's first and foremost. For those who do know Christ as their Savior, that's applying His Word to that arena. Um, I think uh, revival uh, would uh, manifest itself in that no legislation would be passed or considered that was not consistent with biblical principles. A lot of times in the Iowa Capitol, it's not the most friendly place for believers. Um, it's very worldly. The world challenges them all the time to make a decision between their faith and uh, what the people want. Uh, humility is so central to uh, being blessed by God. The Bible says that God gives grace to the humble, but He resists the proud. Imagine, again, if, if revival started with me, if revival started with each individual in a repentance, in a surrender, in the old-fashioned golden rule, how, treating others as I would want them to treat me, and having respect and dying to self, selfish motives, to do what's best for my neighbor, to do what's best for uh, families, to do what's best for the future of our children, rather than a political career. Imagine what that might look like. And I think what revival would show is that people would choose what God wants, what God's will is, even if it's against the popular opinion. But at the end of the day, they looked at the scriptures and they made decisions that are based on the wisdom that is in there, not on the wisdom of man. In the past few years, we've seen pastors become a little more engaged in the legislative process. Uh, my goal, my dream would be for pastors to be present every day the legislature is in session, uh, praying for, encouraging, and holding accountable uh, lawmakers as they deliberate. I think the biggest thing I'd like to see is uh, legislators coming to know the Lord. And for those who already know the Lord, just growing in the relationship with them. Uh, legislation is all about what's right and what's wrong. It's really the rules that we live by. And so we need to actively look at God's Word and take it and apply it to everything we do, including our policies and our laws. And I think when that happens, um, everybody in America will notice. Even those who don't know Christ will recognize truth and fairness and justice and protection of, of the poor and disenfranchised. And so I think the huge blessing that will come from the Capitol is when we begin to apply God's Word to everything we do up there.